Hey everyone. Um, hi. Baby. <laughs> um, so I haven't done a video in a long time, and Ava's just gonna eat some Cheerios here. Um, I haven't done a video in a while, and I totally bombed the um, beta, the video every day in August, but I just uh, didn't end up making videos in the last five months. So, anyways. Um, yes, so I thought I would do a video with Ava, she's already eaten dinner and now she's just kind of snacking on more food, and uh, she just eats and eats and eats, um, but we were out all day doing stuff, and I thought I would make a video, <coughs> hi, um, I will make a, a video around September 12th. Um, because she'll be turning 17 months, which is crazy. So I'll do a video on her 16 month update. Um, there's two things I'd like to mention in this video. One, really quick, um, Ava walked for the first time. It was, let's see, I think it was September, or wait a second. It was like September, I can't remember now, but I'll look it up. Um, it was in the last few days of September. And, here you go, hon. Um, so that was really, really exciting. And her dad was over, and she just so happened to walk hey. in front of him. I don't know if my computer is... A horrible camera. I don't know if the video is going to be lagging because it looks like it is on the screen. So, and again, I'm really sorry for the horrible quality. I'm working on getting a new camera. So, um, this will have to do for now, I guess. And I'm also working on trying to get a new iPhone. So, um, anyways, to make this not a very long video, she walked, which was really exciting. I wish I could have gotten a picture or video, but I had no idea she was going to do it. So, it was really, really exciting, and I'll probably talk about it more in my update for her when I do her 16-month update on what she's been doing for the, her 16 months, and I'll update like her length and her weight and stuff. Um, hey, go on. Hold on. So what I wanted to do this video about, I mean, I just want to wa mention the fact that she's walking, which is exciting. It was the one time Whoa. Where, Yeah. That's great. Uh, mm hmm it was one time, and it was just one step, but it counts. So it was just, she was completely on her own, and it was really exciting. So, um, aside from that, I don't know if anyone really is interested in my schooling at all. I have mentioned it on here a few times. Um, but I am taking biology online, just because it fits with my schedule the best. It is self-paced. I started, I think... November of last year, and I don't know how long it usually takes a person to finish these courses, but I find I kind of go really hardcore for like a few weeks, and then I just completely neglect it for like a month, maybe sometimes even longer, which is really bad, but um, that's just kind of what I've done sometimes. So anyways, um, I have started to study a lot more lately, and I am doing, there's, there's four units, I'm in the third unit, I'm almost at the fourth unit, and the fourth unit is very small, so uh, I only have like a few chapters left, and that's it, and um, there's really not a lot of information to cover uh, from where I am right now, and there's only a few more tests left, which is really exciting. I can't wait to be done it. Uh, I can't wait to be finished this class. Um, but what I wanted to let you guys know, because this video is already at like four minutes, um, something really, really exciting. Uh, the last, yeah, the last chapter that I did was on the digestive system. The whole digestive system, like, hi. Like, all of the enzymes that are secreted from what organ, um, you know, from where in the body it's secreted, and what it acts on, and, um, what things break down into what, like proteins and starch and all that. Um, and so, yeah, the test was like the final exam for that chapter. And I cannot believe it, but I got 100%. I got 46 out of 46. 
and I got my mark back, um, was it yesterday or the day before, and I screamed. <laughs> I screamed so loud when I saw my mark. I was so excited. I was shaking from adrenaline. Um, I knew that I had done well on the test, but I try not to get my hopes up too high, um, you know, just in case. I don't do as well as I had hoped. I don't want to get upset about it. So um, the test was out of 46, and I had been waiting for my mark. All right. I had been waiting for my mark, telling myself, okay, I hope I got at least 40 out of 46. I would be okay with 40. Um, and I needed to get at least 90% for, for it to bump my grade up. So, exciting news is that not only did I get 100% on my digestive system exam, um, that makes two tests that I've taken in this class that I've gotten 100% on. Um, the other test was on DNA replication, so um, that was a shock as well. But, not only that, but of course, because I got 100%, it definitely bumped my markup. And so now I have an A in the class. I did have an A, and then I took a test, and it kind of went down. But now I have an A again. I have 89%. And um, from my province, from where I'm from, because I'm in BC, uh, it's, the grades are kind of scaled a little bit differently in each province and probably, you know, in different countries, of course. But um, I can't remember it off the top of my head right now. But from looking at other provinces, like I think Alberta is 80%, or no, yeah, 80 and up is an A, I think is what it said. But in BC, you have to have 86% and up is an A. And so I have 89%, and I've still got a few more tests to go. Um, but I am just so overly excited about it. And my goal for going into this course was to get 90 or higher. Um, I, Of course, I actually you know, would like 86 or higher because I really want an A in this class. But... If I could get 90, that would be really exciting. So I'm at 89 right now, and I'm really, just really proud of that because it's a self-paced course, and you know, there's not a teacher saying, "Hey, you've got to get this in, you've got to do this, you've got to read this, or take this test." It's all completely on my own time, and um, so I'm just really proud of that because I'm doing really well. So uh, there's a few different routes that. I could kind of go down that I'm kind of interested in. Um, one being the LPN program. I think it's LVN, um, licensed vocational nurse in the U.S., but in Canada, I think it's licensed practical nurse. Um, it's a shorter program. It's about two years. Sometimes, depending on where you go, it's between like 17 and a half months to two years. Um, and so that's kind of you know an area of interest. Another area of interest would be the RN program, the registered nurse. And that is um, four years. I do believe it's four years. Um, and then, of course, there's med school, which is ultimately what I'm really interested in. Um, and I could just go on and on and on about it. But um, I'll just say that this course that I'm taking, this biology course, is a prerequisite for all three of those uh, routes that I could take. And for the LPN program, you only need a C or higher in this class. For the RM program, you need a B or higher. And for pre-med, shockingly, you only need about a C or a C plus or higher. But of course, the, my next um, thing to do after this biology class is to take math, um, and then I'm I'm I've got all my prerequisites to go. So um, my next big step is math after this, and I'm just really looking forward to getting this done. I'm really crossing my fingers that I can do well for the remainder of this course and keep my grade up. Um, and so, yes, I I just wanted to share that because hi, um, because I'm gonna you know my videos are always so long, so I apologize, but um, I just haven't done one in a while. In high school, I never really tried. I was always kind of like a 60% kind of girl that was, I always had C's and everything. Um, I never really studied as hard as I could have and I never really just put any effort into anything. I just wanted to pass, basically. Um, so I was never one of those people that got 100% on anything. I never got 100% on anything that I did in high school, ever. I never got, I mean, I got an A in Law 12, 
and like maybe something else, but in biology 11, I think I got like 55% just because I just didn't, um, I just didn't put any effort in. So it's just like a complete shock for me to be getting such good grades right now um, and to get 100% on two of my exams. Um, so the unit that I'm doing right now is on the circulatory system, which I think is really, really interesting. And um, it's getting quite complex. I'm in like the last little section of the chapter. So um, right now I'm learning about the fetal circulatory system. And it's just really fascinating. It's really, really interesting. So yeah, I just wanted to share it with you guys. I don't know if anyone's really interested in my school stuff, but I thought I would share. And um, as of right now, being September 2012, um, the next pre-med intake is January, so of course I won't be able to apply for that because I've still got to get my math done, but I'm going to try and do the math um, as quickly as I can and not take so long like what I've done with this course. Um, so hopefully I can, you know, whatever I plan to do, if it's pre-med or RN or LPN. Um, hi, do you see a baby in the camera? <laughs> Um, yeah, so the next intake for basically all of these courses, I mean, there's pre-med in January, but there's pre-med and RN and LPN all in September 2013. So hopefully I can get what I need to get done in order to apply for something in a year from now. And I'll let you guys know what I end up doing. Um, oh. It kind of goes like pre-med, RN, LPN, um, and just kind of LPN is interesting because um, it's, it's nice that it's a shorter course but I can get in and get my LPN, get working and bridge into RN if I wanted to in the future so that's kind of um, you know an interest for me as well and being that I wouldn't be in school for so long and of course having a baby it makes it easier but I just feel like if I'm going to go to school and put in all that effort I might as well you know over something that interests me the most, which is definitely pre med. Um, but I'll see what happens. Um, I definitely got to get the math done first. But uh, yeah, I'm just totally overjoyed with. Um, you're okay. A little bit more Cheerios and then we're going to get you out of here. Um, yeah, I'm just totally overjoyed. Not only that I got 100% on my exam, but that I have 89% overall, which. Um, may not be amazing to some people, but it's pretty amazing for me considering I was like a 60% average student at high school. Uh, I always had C's. So it's just really exciting. So thank you guys so much for listening to me ramble all the time. And um, hi. Hey, I see Cheerios, don't you? Kisses? <laughs> hi. Kisses? Can I have a kiss? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm going to go now. Um, and I'll try and get up a video soon. Uh, maybe I'll do one with my mom's camera because I know it's much better. What are you doing? And I hope you guys are having a great start to your September and hope everyone's having a great start to their new school year for whoever is going back to school. And we will see you guys in the near future. Thank you, honey. Thank you. Bye. Can you say bye? Bye. Bye. <laughs> she's giving her yeah. she's giving me her Cheerios. Can you say bye? Bye. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, see you guys. Bye.